गुड मॉर्निंग ग्रेट फाइव वेलकम बैक टू ई वी एस क्लास इन द लास्ट सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरियस काइंड ऑफ जर्म्स और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्प्रेडिंग द कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेज टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द मीडियम्स थ्रू विच दीज जर्म्स नेमली द बैक्टीरिया फंगाई प्रोटोजोआ एंड द एलगी दे स्प्रेड द डिजीज थ्रू विच मीडियम there are various ways by which germs can travel from an infected living being to another the various ways by which germs spread the communicable diseases they are through air through food and water and through the insect and animal bites as you can see in the picture kids a man wearing the green t-shirt is coughing and he is throwing out so many germs out of his mouth the germs can be bacteria fungi or protozoa but all of these germs are being spread in the air and it can affect the second person who is there in the picture all these germs are released by the sick person through the sneezing or coughing they can enter the body of the healthy person and it can cause him cold cough or any kind of disease which can be transferred through air there are two three diseases which are commonly transferred through air namely common cold cough and tuberculosis this is why we are always told to be away of the people who are suffering from cold and cough because they can spread these germs into the air they can release the germs into the air and we can get affected by it by breathing in the same air as we discussed about the three common diseases which can be transmitted through air the cold cough and tuberculosis i want to mention that tuberculosis is a problem it is a disease which affects our lungs in an adverse manner in a negative manner the lungs do not function properly if a person is suffering from tuberculosis he coughs a lot he is not able to breathe in or breathe out properly so tuberculosis is a breathing problem and it directly affects our lungs this is why today in this pandemic which is being suffered by the full india and the full world that is the covid-19 we all are aware of the dangerous disease covid-19 that is why our prime minister has told us to be in a lockdown period and to be at home and not to be outside our homes because we never know who the person who who is the person who is affected with corona virus and he can infect us he can pass on his germs of corona virus his germs of covid 19 and it can affect our health too so this is the reason we have been told to be away from the people and keep social distancing so that we cannot get affected by the infected person of corona virus coming to the next way of spreading the germs and spreading the diseases that is the communicable diseases it is through food and water firstly let's talk about food can you see the mosquito on the food yes it is responsible for spreading the communicable diseases like cholera and typhoid by contaminating by polluting by spoiling the quality of food the insects like cockroaches and flies they carry germs and when they come in contact with our food then and then we eat it these germs go inside our body and we get highly affected by these germs and then we fall sick so so as to be aware and so as to so as to be uh, remain healthy we should not eat any kind of food which has come in contact with any kind of mosquitoes or the flies because they carry very severe diseases with them because they carry very severe germs with them so we should not eat any food which has already come in contact with the insects like flies and cockroaches because they contaminate contaminate means they pollute they affect the food in an adverse manner these diseases are caused by consuming this kind of food which are contaminated so we should be aware that we should always cover our food and also the water when a person has the food which is contaminated or polluted or is affected by the flies and the cockroaches he can suffer from 
two diseases namely cholera and typhoid the first one is cholera the symptoms for cholera are nausea or feel like vomiting you also feel dehydrated you feel a loss of lot of amount of water from your body you always feel thirsty you feel dehydrated means there is a shortage of quantity of water in your body and your blood pressure also becomes low so these are the normal symptoms of cholera if you eat contaminated food or have contaminated water you may also suffer from typhoid if you have contaminated food or water the normal symptoms of typhoid include fever head and muscle aches means you have pain in your head then stomach pain loss of appetite means you don't feel hungry at all you can also feel constipation or a feeling of diarrhea and there is a lot of exhaustion which your body may feel you become very tired so these are the symptoms of typhoid which is a communicable disease and can be spread by having contaminated or polluted food or water. now talking about the diseases which are caused because of the insect or animal bites on our body can you see this picture a mosquito is biting someone on a on a hand or a leg so this mosquito bite can really be dangerous because it can cause malaria it can result into dengue and also very fatal diseases diseases which can cause death also fatal means anything which can cause death diseases like rabies and plague are caused normally by animal bites rabies is caused by the bite of a dog if a dog bites a person the person should instantly go to a doctor and have some necessary vaccinations yes the dogs bite is really very painful and very dreadful also it can lead to your death also so it's really important to have some proper vaccination from the doctor and use the medicines and have the medicines prescribed by the doctor if a person fails to have the proper vaccinations from the doctor he might suffer from rabies few other diseases which can be caused due to insect bites are malaria and dengue malaria is caused by the mosquito which is named as anopheles mosquito and aedes mosquito is responsible for spreading dengue so these are the diseases which are caused due to the insect and animal bites so these are some common communicable diseases namely typhoid pneumonia and common cold typhoid is caused by a type of bacteria in this the patient suffers from fever and headache as we discussed earlier in this session then we talk about pneumonia it is also caused by a bacteria and it affects our respiratory system in a very adverse manner in a negative manner our lungs our trachea doesn't work properly when a person is suffering from pneumonia also he has a problem in breathing in and breathing out of gases there is a blockage in the lungs okay so this was all about pneumonia which is a which is a very common communicable disease it it can spread very easily from a person to another person the third and the most common communicable disease is common cold it is a communicable disease which is caused by a group of viruses so these were some common communicable diseases after discussing all the types of communicable and the non communicable diseases it's time now that we discuss about how do we get rid of these diseases how do we stop getting infected by these diseases that means the disease prevention or the prevention of diseases some of the steps which with which we can prevent the diseases are the first one is that we should keep our house very clean and hygienic it should be very airy means the air can pass along in our house it should be well ventilated okay this means that it should be very airy it should have many windows so that the air can pass inside our house the second one we should not let stagnant water accumulate in our surroundings stagnant means any water which is not moving okay if we collect water in holes or any place of our house then it might be 
the reason for the birth of mosquitoes and flies and some other germs and insects so we should not allow any water which is constantly there at a place and it should not be accumulated or collected in our surroundings in order to maintain the hygiene level of our house we should always drink boiled or filtered water so as to get rid of so as to get rid of the water borne disease which we discussed cholera we should always drink clean and boiled water or filtered water this is why almost everybody must be having the water filters at their houses the water filters can be from the names ro or aquaguard i think most of you must be having it so we should always drink that filtered water also we should always carry some fumigation to keep mosquitoes and pests away fumigation means the ointments or the chemicals which we put on our body so as to keep away from the insects and flies these days some roll ons from good night company are also coming in the market odomos is odomos is also really a famous ointment that we put on our body we can put it on our hands our feet our legs so as to be away from the insects and flies so that no insect or animal can bite us we should always cover our mouth while sneezing or coughing this is just the normal and basic manners which we were taught in grade pg and nursery you should all be aware of it that whenever you feel like sneezing or coughing you should always cover your mouth especially at this time when we are talking about covid 19 time we should always be covering our mouth and always use a mask while moving outside our house in fact at your home also to prevent and to uh, be away from the disease and the infections we should always wear a mask till the conditions are improved in our country also we should avoid eating unhygienic and junk food and food which is present outside which we get from the market and we should always get timely vaccinations yes vaccinations are really important children your parents must be taking you to the hospitals to get timely and periodic uh, vaccinations to prevent us from any diseases in the future like chicken pox if we get a vaccination done a proper vaccination done then you might not catch chicken pox at any time of your life so this vaccination is also really an important step an important step to cure or prevent from diseases with this we come to the end of the chapter you may see the previous videos along with this video and also read the chapter you may clarify any doubt if you have with me i will help you out thank you so much great